Hello all Dancer Florians and welcome back to Mind Studio. Okay, today I have a couple of new animal figurines to share with you guys, so let's get started. Alright guys, so let's begin. We have a couple of new transforming eggs right here, so let's transform this into an animal. So what do we have? I think this is a bear, so let's get the head out. Oh, it's pretty hot. Okay, so let's try this. So you can see we have a beautiful and adorable brown bear. So this could be a grizzly bear. Okay, we don't have a grizzly bear figure, but I do have one, which is a Komodi bear, a figure that, you know, I've collected a long time ago. This is actually like a 2017 Safari LTD figure, which looks pretty good. I think this is like one of our only bear figures in our collection. So yeah, beautiful. So our first animal of the day, it's actually the bear. So let's transform another one. How about um, this one right here? Okay, this one it looks like a rhinoceros for, to me. So this is the head. Oh, so you can actually, I mean the legs should be in the other way. So you can see we have a rhinoceros right here. Of course, it is not the best looking rhi rhino out there, but we do have one which is super amazing. This is a Peppo figure, a figure that was sent to us from a Dan Safarian. So the Dan Safarian actually sent out some fan mail. If you guys want to send me some fan art or any figures for me to review, you can actually do so by sending, you know, to the um, address found on our channel about art tab right over there. So if you guys want to send me drawings, please feel free to do so, okay? So next, let's transform another figure. Okay, what is this? Taking a look at the face, it is definitely a hippopotamus. So do you guys know that hippopotamus, they are actually extremely dangerous. Even more dangerous than a lion because they have actually killed more humans in Africa than lions. So this is a hippopotamus, you can see it has like, you know, huge teeth. Speaking of hippopotamus, we do have a brilliant looking figure. And I think this figure is from Collecte. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice figure, it looks very realistic so you can see. The jaw is like wide open. They can crush a watermelon very, very easily. Okay, so that's the hippopotamus for you. for you. Let's transform another one. This one, it should be a giraffe, 100%. A giraffe, you can see the long legs. The tail is right over here, which can be moved as well. And the neck. So giraffe, which is the tallest land animal this figure was also sent to us by a dan safarian okay i think his name is jeremy and uh, yes you can see we have two really beautiful jeremiah I, I, I mean sorry back a pardon so you can see we have two giraffes right here so giraffes are the tallest animal yeah the tallest land animal next up let's transform this the king of the jungle which is the lion um yeah let's see let's see let's have a look at this beautiful lion right here okay are we able to transform the tail to the other direction nope so you can see this is a lion and we have a beautiful lion figure right here okay and um this it's also from papo i think this was also sent to us from jeremiah looks really nice and do you guys know that this mane of the lion um, it's actually to resemble its dominance. So the thicker it grows, it's like it's the, the male, it's, it seems to be more dominant. And it can be used to attract female lions as well. Next up, let's see, let's see, we have a zebra. Let's open this up, let's transform this. Here's the head, and here's the tail. Beautiful zebra right here. So we do have a beautiful zebra figure, which is a very realistic figure. This is from Schleich, I think. So do you guys know that one really fun fact about the stripes is that this stripes actually ward off, ward off X in. You know, the mosquitoes are afraid of the stripes. So if this stripes, the mosquitoes will not attack them. Yeah, I think, I guess those stripes make them dizzy or something like that. I'm, I'm not too sure. Yeah, pretty fun fact. Next up, what is this? An elephant, yes, but the color seems to be weird. It is a brown elephant. Okay, elephant, the biggest land animal. I think it is um, even bigger than a moose. So right here we have um, a beautiful 
African elephant right here. Okay. Next up, what is this? I think this should be a cheetah. Oh no, I don't think so. This seems to be a leopard or a jaguar. But I've thought, you know, I initially thought, you know, it could be like a cheetah. So I've actually brought a cheetah here with me. This figure, it's from um, Safari LTD. I got this figure myself. I think it is a really brilliant looking figure. You can see the intricacy, the level of detailing on this is pretty incredible. Next up, our last figure. Okay, our last transforming figure is actually a tiger. I think it it could be a saber-toothed tiger. Yeah, it could be because these two fangs are just way too long. But let's just call this as a um, you know a modern day tiger. I think that is also fine. Uh, also fine. So this is a beautiful Bengal tiger from Safari Ltd. So yep. That's all. So what do we have today? We have rhinoceros, we have hippopotamus, we have elephants, we have um tiger, we have zebra, we have giraffes, we have bear, we have lions, we have um leopard, cheetah, jaguar, and um hippopotamus. Yeah, so I want you guys to let me know, you know, among all these dead um animals, which one is the most favorite? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.